on this Saturday morning. It is time for Imagine It. Carl Nelson is here from the Imagination Station, and I'm taking your lead. Time for the safety glasses. Yes. What are we doing today, Carl? Well, 4th of July is coming up, so I thought we'd talk about combustion. Oh, okay. okay. So whether you're talking about shells in the sky, noisemakers, sparklers, whatever, it all comes down to three things. Fuel, oxygen, and an ignition source. Okay. Okay. So I brought with me an example of this. I brought a balloon, mm -hmm. which is floating. You might think it's filled with what? Air. Well, air or maybe helium, like helium, at a party balloon. Correct, yeah. Um, well, actually, there's another gas that's lighter than air, and it's hydrogen, which is ha, okay. uh, kind of a flammable gas. That's why we're scooting back here. Okay. I'm going to give you the honor here of uh, go ahead and just bring that up underneath the bottom of the balloon. Okay. And let's see what happens when we combine the oxygen in the air, the fuel inside the balloon, just and like the flame. That? Yep. Bring it up a little bit. All right. Oh! Wow. Okay. All right. All right. So yep. You see, that's why we're standing <laughs> back. That's why we have I the think safety you heard glasses Kelly on. scream on the other side of the studio. <laughs> Now, okay, so that was combustion of hydrogen with yes. oxygen in the air. What's more interesting is when you start changing up the ratio of some of those components, the fuel, flame, and oxygen. Okay. So we've got another balloon over here. Of course you do. Which is filled Always with... Prepared. Come on up here. All right. This balloon is filled with hydrogen and oxygen gas okay. mixed together. Okay, so it's an oxygen-rich oh. environment. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bubble some bubble of this gas into this tray of soapy water. Mm -hmm. You're then going to scoop up the bubbles in okay. your hands and All then... Right. We'll light them on fire. Oh, no problem. Okay. Sure. Now, before you do that, of course, you can't pick up bubbles if your hands are dry or have lotion on them. So what I want you to do is stick your hands deep down inside there, all the way to maybe like right there. Get your wrists nice oh, and... okay. So you don't light me on fire? Is exactly. that what you're getting at? Both hands, though. Get all both right. hands in there. And of course, you know, the other thing we should probably do, since your hands are wet now, oh, we should probably put these on. Carl, you're making my attractiveness just go up I by know. the it's, second It's just here. going right up. So is this good? That good? is good. Okay. So I'm going to put the hearing protection on as well. That should probably be a clue for anybody else, you know, here in the studio. Turn down the volume or wherever. At home. Okay. Um, be aware of what's going to happen. So again, hydrogen and oxygen gas in the ratio of H2O. Okay. So two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. Now, the important thing here is when you pick up the bubbles, mm -hmm. leave the water behind. Okay. Pick up as many bubbles as you can. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. You want to get as many in your palm, in the palms of your hand as you can. All right. Go ahead and scoop those up. Good? That's, that's probably good. Now, move away from the tray of the other gas there. Hold your hands flat. And what we're going to do now, hydrogen, oxygen, we're going to add a little bit of energy from this flame. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see what happens. You ready? Okay. All right. I'm nervous, Carl. All right. Let's watch your face and see what happens here. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. You gave is me that, a heart attack. I survived on live is that television. that crazy? <laughs> and so, it was weird because you just felt a little bit of heat, but then it went away. Exactly. Wow. It, that's actually a detonation. What we saw before was a deflagration, uh -huh. where the actually the combustion happens at slower than the speed of sound. What you just did in the palm of your hands, that was faster than the speed of sound. Wow. So it's a true detonation. And it shows you how, you know, when you mix up those components, fuel, flame, and oxygen, if you get them in the right proportions, you can go from something that just kind of goes boom to something that Whew. is All right. much, much more dramatic. Well, Carl Nelson, we are out of time. Thanks for not lighting me on fire. Absolutely. That's your 4th of July. Imagine it. And from there, let's go over to Dave. He's got to check sports.